I'm here today with Eric. We're over at Wemco and, and you guys make some seriously massive stuff. I know we're in a bit of a smaller machine right now. How long have you been here at Wemco? Uh, going on five years. Okay. Yep. And they seem like a pretty decent place. I mean, I heard you guys bought like six of these machines within a 12 month period about five years ago. Yeah. Yep. Which is kind of crazy. It's a lo large investment. Clearly they're doing something right. So yep. how do you like running the watch on since you started here? Uh, they're really good. They hold really good tolerance. Uh, yep. They're pretty reliable machine. Okay. They come standard with uh, the Optima, which is- Oh, really? Uh, to, basically it uses tool load instead of spindle speed and feed rate. Yep. So yeah, it's That's a really awesome. cool feature. How do you like using that feature then? Uh, well, we don't do a whole lot of production here. Okay. So we only get into it every once in a while, but uh, it is, it's very cool. So you get into it more when you have like a large amount of volume to pull out there? Yeah, if we got a couple hundred parts, I'll, I'll program it that way. Yeah, but okay. Yeah. That's really handy. I know over on the horizontal, they said they started playing with that too. They've really been liking the results. Yep. At the last shop you were at before you started here, did you have a bunch of watch-ons to run or? No, this is my first time running these. Uh, we okay. primarily ran Hawses and yeah. Uh, yeah, those are good machines too. These yeah. hold better tolerances and make nicer parts. He said it guys, not me. <laughs> but so when it, I'm always curious, right? As a machinist, when it comes to running a new machine tool, it's usually a control thing. How is the control been to learn? The nooks are, they're very reliable. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, as a package, it's a very good setup. You know, all very these cool. machines, you know. So what kind of scope of parts and materials have you been putting through this guy? Uh, I've done anything from, you know, 836, mild yeah. steel to uh, really hard, like 50 Rockwell stainless. Yeah. Uh, everything, really. I mean, we, we machine anything, anything that'll fit on the table, we'll, we'll machine it. Yeah, and it's, it's a fairly big table. It's kind of yeah. nice. What's it like to get a program in here? Uh, so it's fairly simple. And uh, I came from a learning experience where we didn't use CAD software. We yeah. hand, hand program a lot of things. And uh, now, you know, you just sit at the computer, push a few buttons and, you know, I'll post the program and we have a sync tool that sends it right to the controller. You know, it's, it's very, yeah. very user friendly, very easy. Yeah, so. it's something that's really different about this shop. Like you've worked in other shops. You said you've been machining about 15 years now. Yep. So you have experience outside of here. You know how special it is at Wemco to have all of these stations right by your machine. Yeah, I mean, this company is great. They take their money and they yeah. invest it right back into our, our productivity. Yeah. Uh, we get the coolest stuff to play with. Right now I'm playing with some high peak cutters. It's really fun, you know. That that makes my machinist heart very happy yeah. because that's where you can kind of play with it. But you're also giving back to the company by figuring out how to use the newest yep. tooling, how to optimize your programs. And really it's, it's having fun with your job in manufacturing. Yes, sir. Very cool. Awesome. Thanks, yep. Eric. Not a problem. Thank you.